plan to mm -hmm. pursue that. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, Representative Love, uh, when you look at uh, incarceration, I think yeah. that uh, the uh, president has done quite a bit in terms of uh, trying to deal with sure. overcrowded and et cetera, sure. et cetera. What about the state of Tennessee? Do we, do we need to do anything? We in, do. In, uh, um, let's talk about what we, we need. We do, and, and I would say we also need to take a page from the state of Virginia, mm -hmm. where the governor just exonerated about 200,000 people wow. to give them a chance to get their voting rights restored. Mm -hmm. There's an unfairness, as far as I'm concerned, when we still tax persons who are out of prison mm -hmm. with sales tax, property tax, mm -hmm. income tax, but we haven't restored their right to vote. Yeah. I think that there needs to be a more simple process to getting voter rights restored. Uh, like Pastor Walker saying, there ought to be an opportunity for him to have his record expunged. The problem is every year we have to add mm -hmm. a new felony to the list of things expunged. And mm -hmm. so it's a process every year just to add Mm -hmm. that thing to it. And so uh, I'd be more than happy to talk to Pastor Walker uh, later on about how we might look at other mm -hmm. crimes uh, and also the time frame uh, and which felonies we can't add to this. I believe that there should be a place in our society where people who have demonstrated that they are rehabilitated mm -hmm. and living a, a better life than the one that they lived prior to going to prison uh, that they should be encouraged again to do what is right. Otherwise, mm -hmm. one would ask the question, you know, why should I continue to do what's mm -hmm. right? When well, mm -hmm. you're gonna still treat me like I'm a criminal, mm -hmm. yeah. still treat me like I'm in prison, you're gonna restrict where I can live, restrict where I can work, mm -hmm. restrict my right to vote. Those things should not be consistent with the country that we live in, which talks about mm -hmm. giving every one man one vote, mm -hmm. uh, no taxation without representation. Mm -hmm. Those are fundamental principles on which this country was founded. Mm -hmm. We gotta go back to, if we say we wanna take our country back, let's mm -hmm. take our country back to the place where we give folks the right to vote mm -hmm. and, and, and don't penalize them because they're not homeowners. Mm -hmm. uh, and go back to that place. We need to get to a place where even those who may be homeless should still be the right to vote mm -hmm. because they're still engaged in the process mm -hmm. of buying items mm -hmm. and paying taxes on them. They still need representation. Mm -hmm. So we got to get beyond this place of restricting the right to vote. We should encourage more mm -hmm. folks to engage in the process. And I think that's been uh, one of the activities that uh, many southern state legislatures have been involved in, trying to reduce the yes. number of individuals that are able to vote. We restrict co college students in Tennessee mm -hmm. who don't have a Tennessee identification, mm -hmm. a Tennessee driver's license. Mm -hmm. They can't vote in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. Even if you have a driver's license from the state, state in which you live, mm -hmm. let's say you live in Michigan. If you have a driver's license from Michigan and you're enrolled in MTSU, Vanderbilt, Tennessee State, Belmont, wherever, you can't vote unless you have a Tennessee driver's license. And a large number of folks, I would imagine, will be faced with that in the upcoming election. Which, sure. Is that right? Yeah. And, and so what we're saying really is uh, we don't think that your identification from your home state that's part of the United mm -hmm. States mm -hmm. is good enough for us, for us here to say that is who you mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that uh, that has been really something to, uh, what, reduce the number sure. of people who, uh, th yeah. that, that seems to be something that... Uh, Voter suppression is yeah, what you call it. Some, something that, that the state of Tennessee has been involved in. Uh, I hate to say it like that, and especially hate to say it to you, sure. but it does appear to be that that's one of the things yeah. that... Uh, uh, the legislature seems to be mm -hmm. more interested in yeah. and then getting folks to uh, come out That's and participate. Right. It's more in, there, there's more interest to keep them That's from right. uh, participating. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> yeah, so mm -hmm. do you, is, is that true of sure. what you're doing up there? Putting obstacles in the path of voting, mm -hmm. for me, is un-American, mm -hmm. all right? And the statement was made about it is that we want to reduce voter fraud. There have not been instances mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. college students in high numbers have illegally voted. Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, the, the, the vote of college students oftentimes favors one party over another one. Mm -hmm. And so those who in power chose to restrict the right of college students to mm -hmm. vote. And, 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 and so in a real sense, uh, uh, we do need a lot of reform yes. in, in, in terms of suffrage and voting and et cetera yes, in the state of Tennessee. And uh, do you think that the uh, current situation is that uh, there are many people that are interested in, in, in any kind of electoral reform? No, um, they're more concerned with, again, restricting uh, voter access. Mm -hmm. uh, I would applaud efforts to allow, I think, we have such great technology, why can't I apply to vote the day of the election? Mm -hmm. You know, why, yeah. why can't I, with, with the way technology is, you yeah. ought to be able to have a computer system that's, that would show you that I've registered right now and I can vote right now and that I'm not registered in two other places. Because once I re if I register today and go and vote today, then I can't go and register and vote in the lo another location. 
why should not be able to allow to, to register the same day? Okay, very good. And of course, we're going to have to end this uh, show for today. But let me thank the two of you for coming by and giving yes, us sir. that excellent information. Yes, and let sir. me encourage our.